Okay, hello again. Uh, this is the questions and answers on extraction of maths. Were you able to do them? They're not that difficult, so you should be able to do them. Okay, the diagram shows a cell for manufacture of aluminium. Which statement is incorrect? So again, be careful. Is he asking for correct or not correct? So this, we want the statement that's not correct. So the first one says, Aluminium ions are oxidized. Um, aluminium ions are supposed to gain electrons. When gain of electrons, gain of electrons is reduction. So that is not correct. Okay. Aluminium is liberated at the cathode. So that actually is your answer because that's the one that's not correct. Aluminium ions are oxidized. No, they actually they should be reduced. So let's take a look at the others. Aluminium is liberated at the cathode by this reaction. That is correct. Creolite acts as a solvent. Yes. Graphite anode burns away. That is correct. So the one that's not correct is A. Okay. Zinc is extracted from zinc blend. Zinc blend is an ore of zinc and consists of me zinc sulfide. One of the steps in the process involves zinc sulfide reacting with oxygen. And he's saying, what is the equation for this reaction? So we're looking for the equation where zinc sulfide reacts with oxygen. Again, remember that we said when zinc sulfide reacts with oxygen, both the zinc and the sulfur have to be oxidized. So C, for example, is wrong because sulfur wasn't oxidized. And D is the wrong answer because I want oxidizing zinc alone and oxidizing sulfur alone. Actually, if you look at which one is correct with the correct balancing, you should realize that that is A. Aluminium is extracted by the electrolysis of aluminium oxide, which statement is not correct. So we're talking about extraction of aluminium. Aluminium ions are oxidized. Carbon dioxide is made at the anode. Okay, this is very similar to that first question. He just says um, creolite is added to lower the melting point. The electrodes are, so all of them are correct except A again. So that's just the other question. The diagram shows how aluminium is manufactured by electrolysis. What are the anode and cathode made of? Remember that in electrolysis of aluminium, both anode and cathode are made of graphite, right? Okay, iron is extracted from its ore hematite in the blast furnace. The temperature inside the blast furnace can rise to 2000. Write an equation for the exothermic reaction which causes this high temperature. Remember, we said which equation in the blast furnace is exothermic and raises the temperature of the furnace. That's that first one, which is the burning of coke in oxygen to give carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon monoxide is formed in the blast furnace. This reduces the ore. Now explain how carbon monoxide is formed in the blast furnace. Well, carbon monoxide, we said, it is formed in the blast furnace when carbon dioxide is reduced by excess coke. Okay, so that is the reaction that happens. Now, write an equation for the reduction of hematite by carbon monoxide. Uh, again, I'm going to remind you that when he says write an equation, he means a balanced chemical equation, symbol equation, not word. If he wants word, he will say word. So this is the balanced chemical equation for the reduction of hematite by carbon monoxide. Okay, explain why it is necessary to add limestone to the blast furnace. Again, we said, why do we add limestone, which is calcium carbonate, to the blast furnace to remove impurities? Then he says, include an equation. So this is what happens. The calcium carbonate breaks up to give calcium oxide um, and carbon dioxide. And then the calcium oxide reacts with the sand to give calcium silicate, which is slag. And this slag the slag formed floats on top of the iron and is removed. So this is how we remove impurities from the blast furnace. Okay, this question says iron from the blast furnace is impure. It contains 5% impurities, mainly carbon sulfur, silicon, phosphorus. Almost all of this impure iron is converted into the alloy mild steel. Now the oxides of carbon and sulfur are gases, oxides of silicon and phosphorus are not. Explain how these impurities are removed. Again, you should realize that this is when we put it in a specific uh, furnace and we put hot oxygen bubbled 
through it. So the hot oxygen is bubbled through the molten iron that is obtained from the blast furnace to oxidize the impurities. Now, what were the impurities? Carbon, sulfur, both form carbon dioxide gas and sulfur dioxide gas, and these gases escape. Now, the silicon and phosphorus form acidic oxides. So that is why we add calcium oxide to react with the acidic impurities to form slag, which floats on top of the iron and is removed. Okay, so this is how we make steel. This is the process. If he says explain how to change the iron into steel or to purify the iron that is removed from the blast furnace. This is another question. So he says the following raw materials are supplied to a modern blast furnace. Um, iron ore, hematite, limestone, calcium carbonate, carbon in the form of coke and air. And he says, describe the essential reactions in the blast furnace. So when he says describe, that means you should say something in words. Each of the four raw materials must be mentioned at least once and give the equation for the reduction of hematite. Okay, so he's asking, the, uh, asking us to explain everything that happens in the blast furnace. So let's, and you should actually um, explain the equations in the right order. So this is a typical answer. The coke burns in air in an exothermic reaction. So this is description of the reaction. Coke burns in air in an exothermic reaction that raises the temperature of the furnace. Then the carbon dioxide formed is reduced by coke to form carbon monoxide, which reduces hematite to form molten iron. And this is the equation he's looking for, the reduction of hematite. And then you haven't mentioned limestone yet, so we have to say that limestone decomposes in the furnace to form calcium oxide. This reacts with the main impurities in the furnace, which is silicon dioxide, to form slag that floats on top of the iron and is removed. So this is a detailed explanation of what happens in the blast furnace. Okay, aluminium. <clears throat> aluminium is an important metal with a wide range of uses, and the question says, Solid aluminum oxide is a poor conductor of electricity. It conducts either when molten or when dissolved in molten creolite. Explain why. So, he's asking why does it not conduct when solid but conducts when molten or solution. So, this is because the ions are free to move when molten or in solution but not when solid. Okay, so we've done this question several times before. Okay. Why is the solution of aluminum oxide in molten creolite used rather than molten aluminum oxide? Again, we said, why do we add creolite? To lower the melting point of the aluminum oxide. Explain why the carbon anodes need to be replaced periodically. We said, what happens? They burn in oxygen that is formed at the anode to form carbon dioxide gas. So this escapes. Okay, one reason why graphite is used for the electrodes is that it is a good conductor of electricity. Give another reason. Why do we use graphite? We said because it is inert or it is unreactive. Were you able to do that? Okay. Aluminium is extracted by electrolysis and the question says name its ore. What is the ore of aluminium bauxite? Explain why it is necessary to use a mixture, alumina and creolite, rather than just alumina. So it's basically the same kind of questions. So we said we add creolite because it lowers the melting point of the mixture. He has two marks for this question, so you have to mention and acts as solvent. Okay? Copper can be extracted by the electrolysis of an aqueous solution. So just why the electrolysis of an aqueous solution cannot be used to extract aluminium. Remember, we said to extract aluminium, we have to do electrolysis of molten aluminium oxide, not a solution. Why? Because aluminium is more reactive metal, so hydrogen is formed at the cathode instead of aluminium. If we do a solution, aluminium is the more reactive metal, and we said the more reactive metal is the one that does not react at the cathode. So it is the hydrogen that reacts and forms at the cathode. The ions which are involved in the electrolysis are aluminium 3 plus and O2 minus. The products of this electrolysis are given, explain how they are formed. So basically he's telling you to say what happens, what are the equations. So at the cathode, the aluminium ions gain electrons to give aluminium. Remember he says use equations where appropriate. 
So that is fine. And of course, the equations have to be balanced. Um, at the anode, now what happens? The 2O2 minus loses electrons and becomes oxygen. And the carbon anode burns in the oxygen formed and changes to carbon dioxide. So these are the three products, aluminum, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. And that is why it has to be replaced from time to time. Okay. So this is extraction of zinc from zinc blend. And the first question says, how is zinc oxide made from zinc sulfide? So when we get this zinc sulfide, which is a zinc blend, what is the first thing that is done? It is roasted in air. And this is the equation that you need to write. Please be careful with the spelling. Okay. Now he's saying write an equation for the reaction used to reduce zinc oxide to zinc. So that is the one that is with coke to give zinc plus carbon monoxide. Um, of course, it could also be zinc plus carbon dioxide and then you balance accordingly. Okay, so if you write it giving carbon monoxide, that's fine. If you write it giving carbon dioxide, that is fine also, but you need to balance. Okay. Uh, zinc blend is heated in air, zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide are formed, write the balanced equation for this reaction. So we are talking about the reaction between zinc sulfide and oxygen when we roast it in air. Again, be careful with the spelling. Zinc oxide is reduced to zinc by heating with carbon. Name two other reagents which could reduce zinc. So this is a question from oxidation reduction. If I want to reduce zinc oxide to zinc, we said we can add what? We can add either the carbon that he added or carbon monoxide, or he could write uh, a metal. Remember that a metal would also uh, reduce because the more reactive metal will uh, give electrons and the zinc will gain electrons. Okay? So remember that what we can use as reducing agents. We can use carbon, we can use carbon monoxide, we can use a more reactive metal. Remember, we cannot use hydrogen because hydrogen is less reactive than zinc, so it will not reduce the zinc oxide. Okay, antimony is an element. The main ore of antimony is its sulfide. The extraction of antimony is similar to that of zinc. So don't be shocked when he talks about something we haven't talked about. We haven't talked about extraction of antimony. But he's telling me that it is the same as the reaction of, or similar as the, to the reaction of zinc. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is antimony sulfide to antimony oxide. And antimony, he wrote, is Sb up there. It is in group 5, so that should tell you that it has a valency of what? Of 3. So now I want antimony sulfide to antimony oxide. That is by roasting in air, antimony oxide to antimony, this is by reduction with carbon. He's saying describe, so we describe. Okay, that's the end of these questions. I hope you were able to do them, study them, and do a quiz. Okay?